What is up everyone? Oh my god. It is so cold, but everyone, I'm outside. I'm starting off this video and it's about 18 degrees. I think it says it feels like it's six and I'm definitely underdressed for this. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's go ahead and, and jump into today's video. Okay, so in today's video, I go and explore this awesome house. This house is like built into a rock. So it's like on the side of a cliff. Everything's left behind. And it's like four floors, so it's a really oddly built house, but it's really dope. We find everything from designer clothes, jewelry boxes, and jewelry left behind, um, and then just everyday things like dishes still in the sink. So this house is really cool. You guys are going to enjoy it a lot. But before this video even starts, I just, like I always say, follow all my social medias. So I had to get a new Snapchat. So now my Snapchat isn't the same anymore. Go ahead and add my new Snapchat. For now on, this is the Snapchat I'll be on that you guys used to message me on every day. So this is my new Snapchat. Add this because... I miss talking to you guys like every single day on there but without rambling on and talking forever Let's go ahead and just jump into the video and let's fast forward to me getting there right now What's up everyone? Now I'm officially here at the Explorer This seems like a miniature jackpot because the house isn't that big, but everything is still left behind here So as you come in guys, you can literally see how much stuff is just left here completely dusted and a ton of mold too this is just some random stuff, like some fishing stuff. Looks like we have pictures here, which I'm not going to zoom in on for obvious reasons. Bunch of old furniture and even a TV hung up right here. But right off the rip, you can see how much stuff is really left behind. Right out of this room, you get brought in, you see all the lead paint chipping and all the mold growing. Look, everything's still here. Coat's still hung up. Hat's still hung up. We have a Barney's, a leather jacket here from Barney's in New York, which is obviously a nice brand. It's a really nice store, not a brand rather. It's a really nice store. And this jacket is so hard, like standing in place here just cause it's been here forever. It's like rock solid. Also not to mention, there's a ton of random stuff just thrown all over. Looks like someone like ransacked this place, probably kids just coming in. But there's even a Tiffany and Co box here. But it's just a, just used for storage. I'm not even gonna go through it. It's uh, like completely waterlogged too, so it feels like it's gonna fall apart if I even really mess with it. Here's some washers and dryers. Really low ceilings down here. I also forgot to mention this house is kind of like built into the side of a mountain, so that's why it's like really weirdly laid out. You guys are probably gonna tell. So you want to go? Let's just go. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Um, I'm also going to have a ton of more shots, so don't worry, I'm going to come back to this and go through more in depth, so don't think I'm just hopping around too quick. Alright, let's go up the steps here. More stuff just hung up. It's always the best when you find stuff just hung up like that. It's awesome. Looks like we have a TV or a computer monitor or something. But wow, look at this house. What is this? Stuff is a literally everywhere. Everywhere. Looks like the dishes are still dirty. Got all the dishes still hung up, everything. A ton of alcohol, I see. <laughs> a lot of liquor. Got all the herbs and spices, stove. This is a fully packed kitchen. And this goes back over to the uh, living room that I just showed you. Look at all these books though. Isn't this the best? I love finding houses like this. You can tell someone came through and kind of destroyed it, but it looks like it hasn't been found that much. So this is the living room it looks like. Here's that TV I was talking about. Or is this? Yeah, I guess it is a TV. Old witch hat. It's just a ton of random things. Like look at all these DVDs and movies. More books like I mentioned. Here's that fireplace that I showed in the beginning. Just a ton of like everyday household things, I guess. Hmm. Whoa, look at all these CDs. There's a ton of CDs here. We're all laid out still too. I wonder if there's like, is that one right there? I don't know. There's a couch right here. 
slippers. Like I said, it's kind of, I don't even want to narrate it just because there's so much stuff kind of thrown all over. I'd rather just let you guys kind of see it. Here's that liquor we were talking about. Still here. Hmm. Look at this, another, more racks of CDs. Tons of CDs here. Clearly liked music a lot. Anytime you find yourself in a house like this, you just really gotta go over everything a bunch of times. You just have to rewalk it, like probably five, six times you gotta tour the house and you'll find something new every single time. We're going up to the third floor, or I guess just the second floor. Oh wow, this house feels like it's slanted. You can see my breath. So this is what you see when you get up here. Chair, some bamboo, clawfoot tub back there. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Shower curtain still hung up. The tub looks really disgusting. Here's a pair of leather boots still propped up at the door. Look at all these clothes. Bed still here, there's so many clothes. Oh my God. It's like they literally just got up and left and then someone came through and ransacked the house. So here's another bedroom. More leather shoes, some scarves, a lot of suit jackets. Got some Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss. Got some designer brands. So clearly whoever owned this house before definitely did really well or at least pretty well. It's a nice house. Everything, tons of stuff. It's a really unique house, but there's all tons of designer stuff in here, jewelry, things that are obviously really expensive. More stuff. It's like it's never ending clothes and leather shoes. Look, there's even more. You can see the, what is that? Valentino. So we got Valentino here. That's another designer brand. And like I mentioned, I could be wrong, but I think this is a third floor, like an attic. Yeah, it is. Oh wow, look at all these clothes, everyone. <clears throat> okay, what could possibly be up here? Oh, look at this, we have a mini office up here. This would be awesome to just have like your coffee and come up here, it's like a little loft. Still got a computer and everything. <sighs> look how old this computer is, oh my God. The old mouse right here. And just a ton of stuff thrown all over. There's definitely some animals living in this house. Oh my god, yeah, it's a bathroom. All leftover clothes. This is a really weird bathroom. I don't think it was supposed to be one. Actually, no, it definitely was. Man, this is really odd. This house is so strange. Look at this old Hoover vacuum cleaner. Tons of old baseball caps, ties. And a lot of just papers, which is like business stuff, which I'm obviously not going to go through. Still got the towels hung up, ready to go. Ceiling latch right here. Can't tell if they passed away or they moved out or this is just like a house that no one like belongs to no one anymore after a death. But I don't know. There's a tons of stuff left behind here. But you can tell no one's been here for years, decades. Like no way. And it's so cold in here. All right guys, if you want to see a ton of pictures, like I said, go under my Instagram story, and I'm just gonna throw them all up on there. This house has so much potential, and it's just thrown away for nothing and no use. All right, dare open it. Nothing in there. <laughs> now there's one little, one little cup in the fridge, but I'm not gonna move it because that's there. Some bottles of wine.
<clears throat> my god, these ceilings are low. Look how hard this jacket is. It's rock solid. So guys, we're just looking around, still exploring everything. Look at this furniture right here. Look how old and look how much design's on it. It's really old. But it's awesome looking. Got some old dumbbells and stuff down here. This is like a cedar roof, it looks like. Look at this old door. So much cool stuff left behind at this house, but I think we're eventually going to make our way out because I think we saw everything. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me come through and do a really in-depth tour. And let's just kick it back to my house. All right, everyone. I think that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Also, drop a comment and always subscribe. If you click that bell, the little notification bell, you'll get notified anytime I post a video. It's really helpful, so I'd appreciate it if you did that too. Let me know in the comments down below. Um... What you guys thought about this house, maybe if you want to see a part two, if I go really in-depth through everything in there, let me know if you guys would want to see that. I thought this house was really unique, and that's why I loved it. Exploring it was so much fun. I actually, a lot of times, had to go back and refilm things because I forgot to film them. I was just experiencing the house and exploring it and forgot to even film some of the rooms, so I had to go back um, later later in the explore and refilm a room or two. But like I said, guys, go ahead and add all my social medias, and including my new Snapchat. It's brand new. Um, Snapchat banned me for adding too many of you guys back with a uh, old email address that I used to have, so whatever. We'll just start over again. Um, but go ahead and add me on there. But yeah, I love you guys. It's like like I said, it's like 26 degrees now, so we warmed up a bit, but Pennsylvania is freezing right now. I think we're supposed to get snow today, or tonight into tomorrow, really. But anyway, hopefully it's warmer where you're at, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.